Hi everyone, this is Emmanuel from AirTrain. So today I want to talk about three ways to run a large language model on your local machine, like your laptop. To run an LLM, you usually need a lot of memory and powerful GPUs in order to execute the large amount of linear algebra necessary to generate outputs from the model weights and your user inputs. Now these GPUs are hard to come by and they are quite expensive. You can usually find them on cloud platforms, but they cost a lot of money and you need to manage the model deployment and serving the model and so on. On the other hand, you can use cloud APIs such as OpenAI, but that can be quite expensive and pretty slow as well. So what if you could run models on your laptop without having to pay per token or to manage a deployment? Then you could test your applications or your chains or your prompt against a local model and that would be much faster and easier to, to iterate. So before I jump into those three methods, uh, let's talk about how this is possible. If you typically need a lot of memory to run a language model on a GPU, it is because uh, there's a lot of calculations to do in order to return your model outputs. So in order to make models smaller and uh, make them uh, hold in memory, uh, people have come up with this idea of uh, quantization. So essentially, you convert uh, many weights that are typically encoded as 32 bits floats into lower resolution numbers using fewer bits, so like 16 bits or 8 bits and so on and the model will take less memory and will be able to run on a smaller machine. However, obviously when you do this, you lose resolution, so you lose some quality of the output. Think about this as like an image, for example, when you lose resolution, for example, you combine maybe four pixels into one, then you lose information, you still get some of the idea of the image, but you lose some resolution. So this is similar, which means that as you're looking at smaller and smaller quantizations, then you will lose a lot of the accuracy, a lot of the quality of the output. Sometimes the output may not even make a lot of sense. It will be uh, coherent English, but not necessarily very much related to your input. So you have to find the right amount of quantization so that the model can run fast on your local machine, but still output uh, coherent English. So let's jump into the first way to run a model locally, and that is llama.cpp. Uh, as you can see here on the GitHub page, which has actually almost 43,000 stars, that's quite a lot, uh, that it's a part of Facebook's Llama model in C++. So uh, by using C++ instead of uh, like PyTorch, Python, uh, you can have much more efficient uh, memory management and have a much lower memory footprint uh, and run much faster. So uh, Llama CPP, even though it was originally a port of the Facebook Llama model, supports actually almost arbitrary models as long as you have a, a GGUF file for it. Uh, so first we got to clone the code locally. So uh, git clone, and then the path to the repo. It's going to download the code locally. And then to build, I think uh, they mentioned to use make uh, make dash J. I'm not sure what J is, but um, uh, make dash J. And uh, it is compiling the code into an executable. Now, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to download a GGUF file for a model I want to I want to use. So uh, I have this repo here by the bloke on Hugging Face that has a few quanti quantization for the chat fine tune of the 7B Lama 2 model. So I'm going to go ahead and download this uh, Q4 quantization here. Uh, as you can see, the uh, higher uh, the resolution here, the larger the model, obviously, because you're using bigger, uh, more bits per, per weights in, in your model. So I'm going to download this one here. All right, so now I'm going to move the downloaded file, Llama2, into the models directory here. There you go. And then uh, I am going to start by looking at the help section for this executable. Uh, so I want to run it uh, interactively so that I can uh, interact with the model. And I also want some color to make sure that I can differentiate between my prompts and the system's results. So uh, dash M to select the model file. 
that I just downloaded and then dash 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 e and then dash dash color. All right, so let's ask some questions. Um, who is Napoleon? And there you go. Uh, you get some answers right here. Uh, so this does not reach out to any uh, remote server, uh, nor OpenAI, or whatever. This is really running entirely locally on my local M1 uh, MacBook. So if you can find the uh, GGOF file for the model you want to run, uh, you can run it with lama.cpp. Um, of course, it has to fit in your local memory. So now a second way to uh, run a uh, model locally is Olama. So Olama is a much more user-friendly application. It actually wraps under Lama.cpp. So under the hood, it actually runs uh, Lama.cpp. So you download it to your local machine and then um, you simply run it with uh, just like this, Olama run uh, Lama2. And uh, it's going to first download the, the weights if you don't have them and then just give you a prompt here. Um, so let's look at the help. Um, and I would like to see a bunch of stats uh, regarding the model. So I'm going to set, I think it's set verbose here. And uh, I'm going to go and ask a question. Who was Napoleon? And there you go. Uh, again, it's using uh, the local mo model. It's not reaching out to anything remotely. And there we go, we have an answer. So this uh, actually seems to work a lot better than my cursory uh, trial at Lama CPP. I'm sure there's tons of configurations that I haven't said correctly. Um, so yeah, this is, um, this is better. Let's try a, a common riddle to see how smart this Lama 2 model is. Uh, Judy is a girl. Uh, she has three brothers, uh, each brother has two sisters. How many sisters does Judy have? Okay, Judy has three, six sisters. So as you can see, uh, it failed this um, this riddle. Uh, it's pretty common for models to fail this riddle. It requires a bit of reasoning that they don't have. And in addition to that, this is a quantized version of the model. So um, I think it's four bit, so uh, much dumber than the full model. Uh, and then at the end here, you can see some baseline metrics about, about the model. N another great thing about uh, Olama is that you can actually use it as uh, a local API. So here, in the docs, they show you how you can query the model from your machine. So you can po point all your applications to this, this server here. Uh, and let's see uh, how this works out. So uh, if I do curl here and then I pass um, those details. So I think I just have this Lama 2 model here. Tech. And then pass a prompt. Right, so as you can see here, it returns a stream of token. If I put all those tokens side by side, I will have the full answer, but this is a stream so that you can display the output uh, to your users as, it, as it's being written. The last way uh, that I want to show to run a model locally is called GPT-4 for all. Uh, so you can download here at gpt4all.io. Uh, and uh, it's essentially a UI app, so uh, you can start it up once, once it's uh, installed. All right, so I'm running right now the Mistral Instruct model, and you can always download more models uh, by clicking download here and then selecting them. Um, as you can see here, they also have GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 available. Now, these obviously do not download the models locally since those are not open source. Uh, this will essentially wrap around uh, API calls to, uh, to OpenAI. Um, okay, so now that I'm here, I can very easily interact uh, with the model. Who was Napoleon? And as you can see, I get some uh, consistent, coherent response. Um, and all of this is running locally. So yeah, pretty great. This also wraps around Lama.cpp. All right, folks, uh, these were three ways to run models locally. Uh, this is really useful if you want to be able to develop things on your local machine without having to spend tokens 
querying uh, OpenAI, or if you're running, uh, if you want to develop without a network connection, like on the plane, for example, uh, this is this is really great. Obviously, you don't get the same quality answers as you would get from those cloud APIs, or if you were running the full scale model. But this is pretty good to get started and uh, and iterate from there. 